Before I get into specifics, I want to start by giving you the big picture. As a member of the Liyue Qixing, Lady Ningguang's every move is in the spotlight. Maintaining her perfect image at all times is absolutely essential. My usual job is to be her right hand, to maintain her image and take care of all her worries. For example, arranging her daily schedule, picking out clothes for her, dressing her, Applying her perfume? Uh, <clears throat> you misunderstand me. I, I am simply trying to impress upon you the sheer importance of the work you will be undertaking. Baishu has always been very passionate about her work. I can leave any task in her capable hands and rest assured that her performance will be nothing short of exemplary. I'm sure she was simply trying to share some of her enthusiasm, in the hopes that you may find it infectious. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Ningguang. Back to the topic at hand. Let's get into the details. Bai Xiao and Bai Wen handle tasks that require enormous experience, while I'm mainly responsible for organizing her daily schedule and making sure she is well-fed, dressed for any occasion, and that all her needs are met. I can go through the methods I use and give you some pointers based on my experience to ensure that you are fully equipped to perform your duties. All in a day's work for the Traveler, hmm? Great, then I'll skip that and just get to the handover of duties. Currently, there are 133 items that have yet to be scheduled, 17 of which are high importance, and... Yes, I did try to make a start in advance, but only got as far as roughly prioritizing the tasks before I ran out of time. I'll go through the most important items with you in more detail. If there's anything you don't understand, feel free to stop me with questions at any point. First is the periodic meeting with the representatives of the eight trades. After that, fielding opinions on revisions to the current tax legislation. Then a discussion with Lady Kuching on issues relating to time restrictions on land conveyance deals. Following that, there's a Q&A session with all the major commerce guilds. Right after that, there's... Yes, you do. To the uninitiated, scheduling may sound like a simple process of matching tasks to time slots, but there is actually far more to it than that. You need to take travel time into account, along with a whole spectrum of potential issues that can arise. Ample knowledge of all outside factors that may weigh upon your plan A is essential to devise a workable contingency plan. I assume this is all making sense. Unless you had any other questions at this point? Good, then let's press on. We're tight on time here, and there's a lot to get through. And we still need to leave enough time for you to prepare Lady Ningguang's schedule. Already? Wow, you're a fast learner. Very good, this will be much more efficient. Wonderful. Then I'll be counting on you to provide my schedule for tomorrow. I'm grateful for your assistance. Now, I will leave you here in peace to proceed with your work. I still have a few items from today's schedules that need addressing. If anything else is unclear, you can ask by sure. Take care, Lady Ningguang. Um, don't you think that this schedule is a bit of a light load? Yeah, that's true. Lady Ningguang has a lot of work to attend to, and frankly, she doesn't have many opportunities to rest. We do sometimes worry about her health, but her attitude is very Mora-driven. If by taking a break there's a chance she'll lose Mora, she'll never agree to it. Huh. I see where you're coming from. Yes, you have a point. All right then, let's go with your plan. I'm sure Lady Ningguang has plenty she wants to talk about with you. There's a lot of things that need doing over at the auction venue, so I will be leaving you now. I hope so too. You must be exhausted. Make sure you get an early night tonight.